can't wait to get some one-on-one -on -one time with her. Miss that witch. Go easy on her, Robbie. She's been through a lot. It might be a while before things go back to normal again. Tch, normal? Since when were we ever normal? But Nico is right. Wanda might not be as social as we would like her to be. I just want to make sure she knows that we love her and are happy to have her home. Maybe start slow with something familiar, like a movie night. Blade, you just read my mind. Wow, really? What am I thinking now? You must have a mind for it to be read, Robbie. I meant let's have a watching party in Wanda's honor. I think she's really gonna like that. If it gets any sunnier around here, well, good thing I'm a daywalker. Wanda being home won't feel right until we have a movie night. And sure, she can pick the next few flicks. May I join you? You can sit over there. Forgot how relaxing it is to just zone out and watch a good movie. I can see why you and Nico are so close. You have much in common. Yeah, we do. <sighs> now that you're here, you might as well join us. That sounds lovely. All right. Wanda, are those three women witches? They are. They do not seem like witches. That's because they don't know they have powers. Yet. And if they did, they would be wise to hide them. Reminds me of how all the witches tried to hide themselves in 17th century Salem. Times really haven't changed that much. If there is one thing I know for sure, it is that power frightens people. And when people get frightened... Well, you know. You literally lived around the times of the Salem witch trials. I was a young child, but yes. Caretaker and Agatha were terrified of being found out in those days. I know the feeling. <sighs> Sometimes I just wished I was, you know, normal. Things would have been easier for me growing up. Easier in what way? Sounds like there is a story there. There's always a story, but this is movie night, not a therapy session. And I really don't know you that well. Fair enough. Besides, we should be paying attention to the movie. We're just getting to the good part. Are those witches actually charmed by that awful man? Well, he is the devil. Sort of. Then why do they not just turn him into a toad or banish him? Because they're good witches, Hunter. Like I hope to be one day. Yep, careful there. Small victories, Hunter, are always worth celebrating. Like an old friend coming to her senses, courtesy of one of our newest friends. I think the guy's a genius, but come on. It feels like we're pushing all our chips on this one bet. If he manages to pull it off, our prayers will be answered. And if he doesn't, we gotta be prepared for hell on Earth. You want in on this discussion, Hunter? Cap and I were just having some words about Tony. I hear a bit of hesitation in your voice. The thing is, I've seen Tony like this before. He becomes fixated on one idea to the exclusion of all others. Sometimes the results are great. He can split a molecule and make it rain in the Sahara. But considering the danger we're all in, we can't afford to have anything less than absolute perfection. Otherwise, I'm afraid too many people will die. I know the danger all too well, and I would say your concerns are valid.
question is, what to do about them. I don't want to completely derail the plan, but I do think it would be wise to have an alternative ready to go. Meaning? We need to start walking, talking, and planning as though this prophecy is going to come true. So what do you plan to do? Are you going to confront Tony? I'm not sure what that would accomplish. Our skepticism aside, no one wants this plan to work more than we do. We'll just have to cross our fingers and hope, like everyone else. Here's hoping Tony can pull this off. I'm tracking a new threat. What's ugly, hungry, and dead all over? Vampires. Yes, but an entirely new breed. Nothing I've seen before. Is it the kind that fuse together, forming a grotesque bloodthirsty abomination? With arm-length fangs and scales from multiple heads to toe? Like a blood-sucking kaiju? That's a thing? It is a thing. Creepy. But this new breed is terrifying in a way that isn't so... amalgamated. The new breed I'm tracking are... uh... they're vampires. I see. No, I do not. You already said they were vampires. Vampires with a Y? Pronounced exactly the same as vampires. I suppose that was wildly creative for the 16th century monks who first cataloged them. No, it is just confusing. That's why I'm calling them new breed vampires to set them apart. I'll flag anything related to these latest bloodsuckers and send it directly to the mirror table. Carol, you are... The best? Yeah, I know. Thanks for coming out to meet me. You wanted to talk? Yeah, I actually wanted to ask you a question, if that's alright. Ask away. Why are you being so nice to me? I mean, I was your mortal enemy at some point, and I was the one who... You know, with Agatha. Wasn't expecting you, of all people, to warm up to me. We all make mistakes, Wanda. And we all deserve a chance to make up for them. Well, I've made some pretty big ones. Some would say unforgivable, even. Not sure if you noticed, but everyone seems to be afraid of me around here. Everyone except for you, that is. That is not true. Nico and Magic are not afraid of you. And neither are Robbie or Blade, for that matter. Yeah, they are. They just don't want to hurt my feelings by showing it. Anyway, I just wanted to say... Thanks for not hating me. Or something along those lines. I'm glad you're here. You too, Wanda. About the emo kids meeting, there's a problem. Wanda asked to run the show, everyone was fine with it, until Caretaker showed up. Is Wanda ready to run the meeting? At the very least, you should hear what she has to say. Why are we meeting? I thought we already knew how I died. Wanda doesn't think we do, and I believe her. So, you ready to head to the meeting and hear her out? Lead the way. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have brought it up. I disagree. Your theory is sound. We must know the truth. Wanda already took Agatha from me. I'll be damned if I let her take my child. The one standing behind you? Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't mean for you to hear that. You are a guest here, yet you dictate who is allowed to do what. It's not that simple. Convince me. Wanda says there is more to your death than what we saw. She claims she can reveal the true manner of your death.
Wanda has never kept me in the dark the way you do. I've been trying to fix that. Why can't you give me a chance? Why not give Wanda a chance? Listen to her if you must. But if you proceed with the ritual... I can't lose you, Hunter. Not again. I didn't mean for this to happen. I just wanted to help. How? I spoke with Doctor Strange about your visions. That got me thinking. The last meeting, specifically the moment of your death, I don't think that's where your life ended. The last time we did this, something felt off. Good, you felt it too. There is a subtle magic at play. It clouds your perception, distracts from what is real. Why are you so certain? I felt it twice before. Most recently, when I was under Lilith's influence. And the first time? <sighs> when I killed Agatha. I had no warning I'd lost control until it was over. Something masked the danger from me. From her. It was not your fault. No matter what Ileana wants to believe, I am responsible for Agatha's death. I can never make it up to the Midnight Suns, to Sarah, to you. But I will do everything I can to make things right. My magic works by creating what I most desire. It can also strip what is illusion from what is real. You deserve to know what truly happened. Please, allow me to help you. I am ready to proceed. All right. What is your last memory before your death? Lilith trapped me with the Darkhold. I could not move. Then I shall remove the veil. And now, your death is revealed. What do you see? Lilith approaches. I have never seen her so determined. And now, child, you shall be free. Still creepy. Indeed. I cannot move. Yet I hear myself shut. What the? My body lurches toward her. None of it my doing. Ah! Lilith struggles against her own limbs, but cannot control them. My hand reaches for the Darkhold. I see fear blossom in my mother's eyes. I touch the Darkhold. No! Stay Pain back! Pain washes over us both. The world flares white. And then, there is nothing. Okay, what is with that voice? And who directed the Hunter's movements? Someone who could hold Lilith in place. That's alarming. I'm sorry. There's nothing more. That's when the Hunter died. Don't apologize. You showed us what we could not see. I don't know what to think. Was someone else there, and did they kill Lilith? Those are difficult questions to answer. At least we know to ask them. Hey, we'll get to the bottom of this. We're emo kids. We can do anything. I think that's it. You leaving? In a minute. Let me know when you're heading out. Another mystery resolved. No more reason to assemble the emo kids. You sound disappointed. I am, somewhat. This kept me distracted from the state of the Sanctum Sanctorum. Reminded me I could still be useful. Perhaps that is the lesson. Hmm. You see? Now you know. 
What we know is disturbing. Truth is often disturbing. We both learned that lesson years ago. What we just saw, it's difficult to comprehend. I know I have questions, but what about you? I'm still unclear on how I actually died. The magic of the blood courses through you and your mother, when you both touched the dark hold. Mystical feedback? That's my theory. It's a dangerous book. Perhaps more so than we thought. No one else was present when I faced Lilith. Whose voice did we hear? No one I recognize. If Lilith had just recovered the Darkhold, she may have used it to summon a dark spirit. If she did, it seems like she lost control. Perhaps. I pray it was just that. Could it have been... Cthon? Speaking through the Darkhold? Perhaps. But why draw you towards the book? What was there to gain? I should get going. Very well. Good night, kiddo. I'm... Yes? I'm proud of you. For pushing through all this. Um... Thanks. Well, good night. Are you alright? How do you feel? Physically, I am fine. Good. How about what you saw? You were the expert on false realities. You tell me. I don't know the answers, but I am certain we have the facts. What we saw tonight did happen. You both died with your hands on the Darkhold. What does that tell us? I'm not sure yet. Perhaps it will give us an edge in our fight or insight into something we've missed. More unanswered questions. That's not it. We have all the answers to your death. What we're missing are the questions that match. Thank you for trusting me to do this. Of course. It means more than you know. That's all we had. You taking off? That is it for me. The last meeting of emo kids. Should we get another t-shirt? I kind of want another t-shirt, or ooh, maybe a pin. I'll figure it out. Thanks for letting us root around in your past, Hunter. Johnny Blaze's allegiance to our cause was hard fought. Stubborn as he is, the Ghost Rider is a powerful ally. It's really good to have Wanda back. The whole place felt like it was missing her signature Scarlet touch. craziest thing you ever seen? Three demons killing each other because they could not decide who would fight me first. Oh. The winner had a mortal wound. Never drew my weapon. How about you? I was gonna say a rollerblading mariachi band, but I don't think mine compares. Your spirit must have seen some crazy things. Uh, the two of us don't really share, Hunter. Could you ask? I don't want to know what it's seen. Most of it's bad. Let's drop it, okay? All right.
Always great to hang with you, Hunter. Charlie's such a rad dog. Gabe would love a hell puppy. Would he? Specifically, a hell puppy? Yeah, Gabe's an animal lover. I would love it if his pet were demonic. Like his big bro. Hellhounds do not tame easily. You think I need something a little more foolproof? He sounds like an extraordinary child. He deserves something out of this world. He will get major cool points if I can find him something like a, a dragon. A small one that doesn't freak out the neighbors. Or freaks him out the exact right amount so they stop taking my parking spot. I am sure Ileana can help you find a portal to a demonic miniature pet store. She's my next stop. Thanks, Hunter. How do you sleep at night? Is there a problem? No, I'm literally asking how you manage to sleep at night. Here. At the Abbey. What keeps you awake? The roar of the ocean, winds moaning through the rafters, the little girl in the tattered dress who croaks, I know what you did, from my bedside mirror. Ah, you mean Prudence. She says that if you do not wash your hands after using the restroom. I get the sense you aren't taking this seriously. I get the sense you are not taking your personal hygiene seriously. Oh, you want me to admit this is strange, don't you? No, no way. I can figure this out on my own. Think, Tony. Think, think, think. What if I slept in the suit, turn the sound dampeners on, set it to vibrate if there's an emergency? Huh. Show no mercy. Nothing to worry about so far. I'm hoping you'll learn from this, but I know you won't. You're not going to let me. Interesting technique.
pretty good at that. Ready? Remember your face. It gets the job done.
change of mind. Excellent work. What is wrong? Is it that obvious? I used to be able to hide my feelings from you. Very. What is wrong? I found myself thinking how thrilled Agatha will be to see you again. Then, as always, I remembered she's gone. You know, I used to be able to hide my feelings from you. You do not have to do that anymore. I need to know what you are thinking. No. You're too important for me to distract you with selfish thoughts. Grieving for Agatha is not selfish. And I miss her as well. I know. She would be so proud of the person you have become. <sighs> I should get back to work. And so should you. <laughs> <laughs> 